Let's begin our conversation about the shifts in modern marketing with the entire strategic approach of how we engage and connect with customers. Traditionally, marketing has sought to understand what messages might resonate with our customers and used outbound marketing communication to buy the attention of our customers. In fact, most marketing we think about is outbound because you take a message, you buy media, and you hope that customers will listen to the message. This process is breaking down at a time when customers have a choice on who to engage with, and they have a choice on tuning out your marketing and advertising messages. So the shift that you need to engender is to move from outbound marketing to inbound marketing. Now what is inbound marketing? The idea of inbound is that the customers come to you, that you don't go to the customers. Now why would a customer come to you? They come to you because you have something to offer them, some return on engagement. If I engage with you as a customer, you offer me a return on engagement. Now, therefore, I am earning your attention by attracting you with content. So in inbound marketing, content is key. You never begin with the product. In outbound marketing, we begin with the product and end up with our messaging to customers. In inbound marketing, we begin with content and we begin with the customer. So it's not about your products. You really have to ask yourself, what information can I provide to my customers that they will find valuable? What services can I offer them? How can I inspire them? How can I entertain them? How can I enable community interactions for them? How can I improve their social capital? These are different forms of return on engagement or value in engagement that you can provide to your customers. There's informational value, there's convenience value, there's community value, there's inspirational value, there's social value, and there's entertainment value. These are the different ways in which your content can engage with customers. So inbound marketing begins with an understanding of your audience. It begins with customer insights. And you take those customer insights and then craft for yourself a content strategy that then becomes magnetic, that attracts customers. So let's take a few examples to see how these different forms of return on engagement, different sorts of value that you can create for customers operates. Let's take informational value. So if I'm Procter & Gamble and I want to engage with dentists to promote my products, the outbound marketing approach would say, I send a sales representative to the dentist's office and I try to push my products. But Procter has adopted an inbound marketing approach through its site dentalcare.com. What they do there is they ask the question, how can we help dentists? How can we help them improve their practice? Well, there are three things they want you to do for them. One is that they need to be educated and continue to stay relevant with their continuing medical education. The second thing is they want to be kept updated on what's happening with technology and the dental practice. And the third thing they want is help on managing the practice, or so practice management tools. So that's what PNG does on dentalcare.com. It allows dentists to take online courses for continuing medical education. It provides them with an updates on what's happening in the world of dental technology, and it has a plethora of practice management tools. Now, once you create this, then you're creating a portal, you're creating a resource, you're creating a one-stop shop where dentists will come. And in that process, you have the opportunity to have a conversation about your products. Similarly, think about convenience. Walgreens is an excellent example of an app that they have created, the prescription by scan, which allows you to refill your prescription with one click. That's convenience. So when I engage with that app, I'm getting some value in return. And that's why it's one of the most successful retail apps in the App Store. There are many ways in which your content can be relevant to your customers, but you have to begin with an understanding of what makes them tick. What are their hopes? What are their fears? What are their aspirations? What are the jobs they're trying to get done? And based on that, if you build content, then that content will be relevant the content will be timely, and the content will be useful for customers. Once you're able to do that, you're going to rise above the crowd, and you're going to be able to attract the attention of customers. 
So in summary, inbound marketing is the idea that we create content that is timely and useful, that is relevant for our customers. And if we do that and we lead with content, we're going to attract the attention of customers. What happens to sales? Sales will come, but you don't lead with the product. You follow with the product. So one mantra I want you to keep in mind when you think about in inbound marketing, ask not what you can sell, ask how you can help. That's the key principles of inbound marketing, which is the first shift that we need to think about in the modern marketing context.